And Lord, I ask you for wisdom. Daily bread of wisdom today. Spiritual wisdom. Wisdom for my decision making. Wisdom for ministry. Wisdom for pioneering. Wisdom of when I'm doing things for you. Wisdom within my personal life. Wisdom in my marriage. Wisdom with my children. Ask God for wisdom. When you ask, he will give it to you. We're under the blood of Jesus. James chapter 1. I'm going to take from verse 4 to 8. Now, this is powerful, this is applicable, and this is going to help equip you on a daily basis to not depend on your mind. Sometimes brain shush, shut up, get out of the way. David said, bless the Lord, O my soul. David had to tell his soul, soul, bless the Lord. Flesh, you will serve the Lord. James chapter 1, verse 4. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. So the scripture says in verse 5, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God. And God will give that wisdom, wisdom to you without holding back, without reproach. He'll give it to you liberally. And when you ask him, ask in faith. So the first thing I want you to understand, when you take one step towards God in a prayer request like this, he takes a hundred steps towards you to bestow it upon you. If you need wisdom in your life, if you're dealing with something, it might be a business contract, it might be a relationship, it might be a breakup, it might be you're about to get married, it might be you've been proposed to. You need the wisdom of God in your life. You can't just make decisions based off of emotions. Otherwise, you are acting upon sensual knowledge. You have to make decisions. Listen, we're living in the last days. This is a critical hour. You can't just go around and do things because it's a good idea. It better be a God idea. And in order for you to operate in that realm of excelling in God, you have to have the spirit of wisdom in your life, operating through your life. You've got to be humble to ask, though, because if you're proudful, and if you're prideful, you'll say, now I'm good. I've got the strategy. Now I'm good. I know it all. Now I'm good. I already know that Bible scripture. Pastor, I've already read that. That's not humility. You have to come before the word of God and receive it fresh. Don't say Psalm 91 is milk level. Don't say the Father's prayer is milky level. I've heard all that. I've read all that in Sunday school. No. Come to the word of God fresh. People get too familiar and familiarity breeds contempt. Don't you ever get too familiar with the scripture because it's that very scripture in your mouth that will cause a miracle to manifest. Ask God for wisdom and he'll pour it upon you. He'll pour an oil of wisdom upon your head for that decision, for that contract, for that relationship, that constant arguing or quarreling or whatever it is that may be coming to the surface in your situation. God will give you spiritual wisdom. Earthly wisdom isn't good enough. You need spiritual wisdom. Declare after me, say the spirit of wisdom. And say, I receive it. Say, I take it. Turn with me to Matthew 7, verse 7. You see, I ask God for wisdom daily. You've got to come before God humbly. Lord, I need it. Lord, I need more of your understanding. How do I deal with this situation? How do I deal with this attack? How do I deal with this wilderness season? How do I get out of this heaviness? How, God, how? Ask God for wisdom. Matthew 7 verse 7 says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. And he who seeks and to him who knocks the door shall be opened. 
Or what man is there among you if, he, if his son asks for bread that he gives him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Ask God for wisdom. And he won't just give it to you, a little crumb there, a little droplet there. He'll give it to you without holding back. The Bible says he'll give you wisdom without reproach. You've got to dare to ask him. Dare to ask him in faith. Dare to be humble and say, Lord, I messed up. Lord, I was a bit stupid in that situation. Lord, I come before your throne of grace to ask you for help to ask you for assistance, to ask you for your divine intervention. Lord, I need the spirit of wisdom to get me out of this. Give me wisdom. Wisdom to put healthy boundaries in place. Wisdom to even say no to them things that I can't say no to. God will give you spiritual wisdom. Declare after me, say the spirit of wisdom. I ask the Lord daily for two things. Lord, may your favour be upon my life today. And Lord, I ask you for wisdom. Daily bread of wisdom today. Spiritual wisdom. Wisdom for my decision making. Wisdom for ministry. Wisdom for pioneering. Wisdom of when I'm doing things for you. Wisdom within my personal life. Wisdom in my marriage. Wisdom with my children. Ask God for wisdom. When you ask, he will give it to you. Some of you haven't even reached that point in your spiritual walk to ask God in faith. Oh, you've asked him a couple times, but you're trying to twist his hand. Ask him in faith, knowing he's a big God. Stop telling that mountain how big it is. Tell that mountain how big your God is. Ask God for wisdom, spiritual wisdom and supernatural wisdom. Being a fool is not your portion. Can you say amen? Amen. Operating under the spirit of wisdom is your inheritance. So point number three is ask for wisdom. If you don't ask, you don't get. And when you ask this God, because this God isn't like any other false God, this God is alive. We don't worship idols or statues. We worship a living God. This God is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. When you ask this God, oh, you might have tried Buddha, you might have tried Hinduism, you might have tried that healing crystal, you might have tried speaking to a couple angels. When you worship this God, this God is the most high God. This God is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. When you ask this God, he will give it to you without reproach without holding back. Oh, he's a good God. Yes, he is. He's a good father. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, he's a good father. If we as sinners know how to give good gifts to our children, how much more our heavenly father? If your child asks you for a piece of bread, you're not going to give him a stone. How much more our father? Come on, he's a good father. He'll lavish you of wisdom. It's better that you ask God for wisdom than a new car. Because that wisdom will empower you of how to steward and that blessing. Can you say amen? Amen. Some people receive the blessing and it destroys them. Declare after me, say spiritual wisdom. wisdom. So point number three, ask this God. He's a great God. He's a big God. He's a generous God. One thing about my God, his name is El Shaddai. He's the God of more than enough. He's not looking to bless you a little bit. He's looking to shock you. Looking to shock you. Not just shock you, but shock your whole family. And I'm wondering, what's happened to my son? What's happened to my daughter? And all they can say is Jesus. Jesus has touched me. Jesus has changed me. Jesus has delivered me. Come on. This is the God we serve. He's a mighty God. Some of you have tried religion, but you've not tried Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a joy to bring you the Word of God in the comfort of your home. Why don't you comment below, click like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be made aware of future content. Thank you for joining us today.